All right, folks, uh, thanks for joining us again today. It's um, towards the end of May, and we've had some really wet weather, and it's nice and uh, overcast today, cool, and so it's a great time to take cuttings. So I've been out in the garden and took some cuttings of blueberry, and so tried to get four to six inch cuttings of new growth that have started to harden off a little bit. So they're still softwood cuttings, but um, they've got a little bit of, uh, they aren't super soft, they aren't super flexible anymore. So they're starting to harden up a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and strip the bottom three leaves or so off of each one of these cuttings. Start sticking them in a stack and letting them soak in my hormone solution and then I'm going to go ahead and keep stripping going through these making piles of roughly 10 or so and that will give me enough time to let this group of cuttings soak in the nutrient solution or the um, hormone solution for a little while so we get good uptake. Um, there's a lot of different hormone options out there. Um, I like to use an alcohol-based carrier most of the time because it's um, really good at getting into the stem. Um, but you can also use a talc-based. Um, talc-based hormones are really good for tender foliage, um, things that would be damaged by um, the alcohol. But the talc, because it's just adhering to the outside of the stem, it doesn't do as good of a job of actually getting into the stem. So whenever possible, I like to use alcohol, but there's certainly some stuff that it's just too strong to use in. So I've got a, a pretty uh, well-draining potting mix here um, that won't hold a whole lot of moisture on the cutting. That's, uh, that's important because you don't want the stem to rot while it's under mist. Continuing to strip some leaves. and continue to stick. It usually takes me about 15 minutes to go out to the field, take 50 to 60 cuttings, come back, prep a tray, and then stick a flat. If you're getting into cuttings and you want to have a reference um, for hardwood cuttings, some of the more common landscape um, perennials and shrubs, the um, Michael Durr's um, propagation manual, it, he was a professor at the University of Georgia. He's still alive, he might still be teaching, not 100% sure. Um, but that's a great reference for looking up treatments as well as um, the best time of year to take cuttings for the individual species. And there's a significant amount of variation in, in how well cuttings do in different times of year depending on the species. So that's definitely it's worthwhile paying attention to.
I'll drop some cutting somewhere. <laughs> Threw a few cuttings out when I was cleaning up for the video. up but I like to include the uh, variety or what I'm doing on here in this case this is Brightwell which is an old southern variety um, developed by one of the universities and then um, the date which is May 27th and I'm using uh, 3,000 parts per million of endobutyric acid IBA um, with an alcohol base I like to use um, either Diff and Grow or Woods, both of them are, uh, have good success with. Alright, and so that's a flat, we'll go ahead and carry it down and put it under mist. And so these are the the ones that we've done this evening so far, so um, looks like seven varieties of blueberries that are all those old University of Georgia and Clemson University varieties that were developed in the 70s, and then some uh, some raspberries that we did yesterday. So that's what's under mist right now, and hopefully we'll have roots on them within six to eight weeks or so. Thanks for joining us again. Um, yeah, like us, we appreciate you sharing our videos. And if you have any questions, let us know, we'll try to answer them. Thanks. <laughs>